Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this one, I very quickly wanted to show you how easy it is to create a general storage account and a Azure Data Lake Storage Gen2 account very quickly using some PowerShell command and, and look at how, how similar they are. So this is where I'm just creating one variable to store the resource group name and another variable location to to store the location or region where we are deploying our Azure resources. And then this command new easy resource group name resource group dash location location is going to create this particular resource group for me. Now look at create general storage account. It's the command is really easy new easy storage account. Okay, that's all you need. Look at the data lake storage. The command let that I'm using is still the same new easy storage account. What are you passing? You're passing the resource group name, name of the resource that you're going to create. So general storage and uh, then location SKU standard LRS and then kind storage V2. That's the most recommended type of storage account that Azure that Microsoft recommends. If you look at the data lake storage gen 2, up to this point, everything is exactly the same. The name, I'm just keep assigning a new name because it's a data lake storage account. Location, SKU name, kind. And look at that. Here, the only thing that is additional that I'm adding is enable hierarchical namespace. I'm saying that true. So, if you know this command, you know exactly how to create a data lake storage gen 2 you only need to enable and and pass this additional parameter and that's it so let's save this code and let's see if we can run this uh, this code from here test dot ps1 and hit enter so all i'm doing i'm just running this little code and i'm running from my uh, PowerShell, it's uh, already installed. I have the PowerShell module installed for the uh, in my Mac uh, with M1 silicon chip. And so what you're looking over here, so this portion of the code was was done, right? So it created my resource group, uh, cloud security and training. And then uh, the first one got deployed, okay? And it probably decrying the last one. So let's go to our storage, or I mean in our Azure, and see what is going on over there. See if I go to the resource group, look at that, the cloud security and training, the resource group got created. And you look at it, so the first general storage account is already done. So it's now, it must be deploying the other one. As a matter of fact, the other one looks like is also done, right? So it should have deployed both of them uh, just fine. So sometimes it takes just a minute to show up. Uh, so I'm going to refresh this. And hopefully we will also see the other account uh, created in here shortly. So just kind of, kind of I'm going to take a look at this and see uh, whether it got created properly or not. come back over here do some refresh and there we go we have our general storage account so and the data lake storage account both of them are available so how do you know that they are so over here type it does not clearly state that which one is really your your data lake storage and which one is a general storage so you click on this account and you see here it says containers file share tables and queues so you know this is going to be your general storage account and if you go back click on the data lake storage over here under containers over here you see the massively scalable data lake storage okay uh, so that is what uh, is telling you that this is your data lake storage and you can see the account the icon for this account is also different but a lot of features, they are very similar. And just for your information, uh, as your data lake storage is usually typically you would use for a big big data analytic platforms. And it's built 
combining the blob storage plus the uh, data lake generation one type of storage all right the other thing i wanted to quickly show you let me see if i can get the azure uh, explorer from here and if it opens in my uh, you see you can download the storage if you have to so just just try to open it from here let's see if we can open it uh, and uh, what we'll do over here let me see if i have the azure storage explorer already installed yeah i i might have it already here so what i'll do uh, i'll try to log into my storage explorer as well i just wanted to show you that uh, uh, in the storage explorer if you have it installed and if you're logged in the way uh, the way this account show up so this is my my data lake storage and this is the general storage account and in here it clearly it uh, it adds this parenthesis and it says ADLS so Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 so the here you can clearly see which account I created as a, a data lake storage and which account I created as a regular storage account so I'm gonna give this code to you in my channel with the video that I'm creating at the moment so all of it you're gonna get just play with it and have fun creating these accounts uh, i have done other videos where i have shown you how to create this from the portal as well but this is so easy to create using a partial that i thought it might be a very good uh, quick lesson for everyone to kind of uh, know that how easy it is to create these accounts uh, using the partial well thanks for watching and happy learning azure if you like the video give me the thumbs up Click on the like button, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.